Hello there, it's Saturday afternoon, just coming up to one o'clock. I'm up in the forest, Northumberland Forest, and I'm going to try something different. I borrowed me, me wife's electric e-bike. It's quite an old one, she's had it about six years, it's never been used. But uh, it's got a range of about 50 or 60 miles on it, so I've managed to, to get so far. And I've just secured my load, make sure it's not going to fall off. I'll turn it round and show you what I'm doing. It's a vault bike. I could do with getting a few panniers for the back because I've strapped my rucksack on it. It's quite safe. It's on a good rack. Got the battery down the middle. And it's, I mean, don't laugh. I've got the shopping basket on the front, but that's got all my water and some heavy stuff in it. So it's actually, it's actually doing the job and it's quite comfortable. So let's crack on. It's a game changer going along on a bike. <laughs> So I'll tell you, the bike makes mince meat of these uh, forest tracks. I've done miles already, and I'm right up by the back of Simon's side. I'll show you a different view of the hill. There's Simon's side from the back end, look. Lovely, isn't it? Northumberland Hills. I'll just see if we can get a bit of There's a nice alternative view of the Simon Side Hills for you. It's cracking, isn't it? You can even see the cave down there as well. Smashing. Oh, I'm loving this. So much more accessible on the bike. I mean, I've done miles. I've got my rucksack keeps half falling off the rack, but uh, I'll get myself some proper panniers because I think I'm going to do a couple of coastal camps. Won't be so hard either, because uh, obviously I've not got the right kit for me for me stuff on the bike, so it's all rattling off. <laughs> but I keep stopping. I've got plenty of bungees. But I'm really enjoying this different views of the hills. So I'm right up on the top of Weatherhead at the minute, and there's looking down to the forest. It's amazing, isn't it? I'm going to have a look over on that side over there now. Here's another view. This is looking looking back toward Darden Rig. Up on the top up there. I'm going to go and have a look up there now. There's another view of the Simon Side Hills. Looking up to the Cheevits this time, look, up there. Some type of weather station up there, look, or something. There's looking round to the Cheevits. Oh, it's fabulous, isn't it? Back up to the Simon Side. Yeah, I'm loving this. What, what a new experience. There's a view down to one of the locks. There's a lot of harvesting up here, aren't they? A lot of harvesting. They've got their own little quarry going on for the roads. Here's your Simon side. Obviously, Rothbury's over that way. Cheviots. I found myself a spot off one of the paths by one of the locks. I'll have a look at the lock later. And I'm just over here. I'm just going to set up just there, because I've camped here before in the past. Nice semi-flat spot. And I'm just starting to get my stuff out over here. I'll have to get some panniers because the rucksack kept falling off the rack. I'm just pumping it up with the flex tire. Nice and quick. That takes a minute. Before I do anything else, I've just set me bits and pieces up. Obviously, I've made a brew. Bag of spare, that's me head torch and what have you for later. I've got me pans, me rice, homemade curry. There's me fuel, me water tester. I've got some porridge for the morning. I've got a snack bar, a knife, coffee, tea bags and me milk. And I'm using the x boil. And I'm just uh, going to show you the water. Obviously, I filtered it with, with the pure clear. And then just to double check, look. Excellent. Look at that. That pure clear is absolutely amazing. I love it. I've been lucky enough to be sent this jacket by Dubu. It's D-E-W-B-U. Dubu. 
It's actually a heated jacket. It's amazing. So let's just run through what I've got. There's two big chest pockets. You've got arm pockets. We've got Velcro flaps up here as well for some reason. We've got uh, on the left arm, you've got a bottom pocket there. You've got the top pocket again. And then on the left hand side, you've got the, the Velcro patch, but you've got their badge stuck to that. You've got draw cords, draw cords on the side to pull it in. You've got a hood that cinches up really tight if you want it. It's got a lovely peak on it. But the best part about this jacket, in there, is your battery pack. We'll have a look at the battery pack. It tells you the percentage it is. You can't see, obviously, that's on 99, you can't see on the, uh, the video. But that tells you the percentage. It's USB-C charging. We can charge it from the car. You can even power charge a device from it as well, I believe. So the battery goes in its own little pocket there. You've got heated pads there. You've got heated pads on both arms and you've got two heated pads on the back. So there's six heated pads in total. It's got a two-way zip if you need it. To turn it on, you hold that in for three seconds. That's on red now, that's high. After five minutes, it automatically goes to the medium setting. But you can go to the medium setting and the low setting. We'll put it back on the high. Let's just feel that. It's actually getting hot already. Amazing. I mean, I'm out here tonight. It's going to approach zero tonight. This is going to do the business. At the end of the video, I'll put the times there on the battery lasts and some specifications. I'll put that at the end of the video. But, uh, we'll have a look. It's got lovely adjustable cuffs. The hood's fleece lined and the jacket's got a lovely lining to it. And there's your big, there's your big heated pad for your back. It's a quality garment. I won't want to take it off, I can tell you. I like my cuffs turn up tight when I'm in the woods. It's lovely, it's a smashing fit. I'm 13 and a bit stone and I ordered the extra large and that's the fit. If you wanted it, I mean, you could get, a, get another couple of layers under there, but I couldn't really go to the large, be tight. Fantastic jacket. The material of this jacket is like a soft shell and it's water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. I can't wait till it gets colder later. And I turn it on. And I'm nice and warm. Look at that. That's on max. I'll have it on medium. I feel it warming up already. It's lightning fast. Turn it off for a bit because I'm not cold yet. It's a lovely jacket. I'm really looking forward to using it. I do like these, uh, I do like these bags of Tilda rice and, and my homemade curries. Ideal for camping. It's filling, nutritious and quick to do. What I like about the x windshield is you can just lift your cup off and then you put your, your frying pan or your pot on. It's nice and it's nice, nicely supported and the flames are nice in there. I can see me getting on really, really well with this little cooker. I didn't bring a spare tarp, so I've covered up the battery and the key position with my coat and my helmet. And I've put two dry bags over the electrics on the end of the handlebars. 
I'm not, so if I, if I go up the coast, what I might do is take the basket off. I'll leave the mount on and I'll, uh, I might try and get like a cylinder bag for across there. But I'm not really bothered about the basket. It does the job. The only problem I've had today, rattling along on these gravel roads, the top of me, uh, I've had to tie this on, look, with a string, and I've lost the top of me, me telescopic bit for the, so I've got nowhere to put my light or clamp my phone on. I'll tidy this lot up in a bit. This is where I'm sitting down, relaxing. I'll have this coffee and we'll go and have a look at the lake. It's fantastic in the forest, isn't it? Well, I'll be going up the Cheviots a bit in the winter. So I'm going to get my kit ready for me, my hikes in the spring. But uh, I'm going to do a few beach camps, I think, on the bike. I can get to uh, I can get to the beach within ten miles, so I can just go up and down the coast. What an absolute lovely night. Here's where I got me water. Great. Great. Beautiful. Not quite fat enough to bivy here. Right, me set up tonight. Got the pegs in. Adjustable taut taut line hitch. Carabiner. Wrapped a couple of times around the pole down that one's round the tree carabiners and taut line hitches on the back nothing special in the knots just a taut line adjustable hitch and again loop carabiner a couple of times around the pole and the adjustable knot, which you can slide up and down to tighten it up. And that's the DD Super Light Tarp. 2.8 by 1.5. Right, and for sleeping arrangements, I've got my bag of thermal clothes, which turns into my pillow as well. And I've just got my Rab 400 sleeping bag back. Ex-bed mat. And I'm using the Army Bivy tonight. It's going to be really cold, be a bit more warmer. And I'm just relaxing over here at the minute. I was thinking all these bungees, me, me rucksack just kept falling off the rack on the way. So what I might do, turn the rucksack, rucksack upside down, have the top of the rucksack on the rack, and then the waistband... The, uh, the waistband I'll put round, round my middle. I think that'll work better until I get some panniers. We'll try it in the morning. I'm just trying to decide if it's worth coming back down in an hour to, to see if there's no cloud. I suppose from my pitch I'll be able to see if the light's orange. If the light's nice and orange I'll know the sun's out and it's worth a stroll down. Lovely up here, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Peace and quiet. Nice fresh. Oh, it's a lovely mild night tonight. I'm just lying back on my mat. I'm gonna have another brew. It's just coming up to seven o'clock. I'm gonna go and see if I can get the sunset. The clouds have just cleared. There's the end of the sunset. It's a beautiful view, isn't it? It's nearly dark as well, you've still got a sunset. It's actually set early, earlier than what it said. It's 6.40 and it should have set at 6.50. Mind you, I suppose it's still a bit high, isn't it? It's still in the clouds. I love this spot. I love all the spots to be honest. <laughs> I just love it. Love being out. Right, 
that'll do for that. I'm gonna go and have a brew. I'll be getting in the bivy soon. I've got me down trousers, if I get cold, because I've got the 400 uh, Rab Neutrino 400. It's meant to be good down to about minus two or three, isn't it? Or is it more? I don't know. And I've got my thermal base layer, which I'll put on. Right, we're not going to see any more of that because of the clouds. Oh, so I've got my thermal base layer on and this coke, that's all I need because it's heated. I'll have it turned on in a minute, look. Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. I'll tell you how quick it, I'll tell you how quick till it warms up. I can feel the heat already, it's mad. That's amazing. <laughs> Fantastic. That, oh, damn lame. Oh, that's lovely. I'll turn that down. Let's have it on the low setting because I'm toasty anyway. Right, so I took my t-shirt off and some spare layers. I thought that's, that's, that goes in the stuff sack. And that becomes a pillow now. That becomes a pillow now. I can just, it's lovely. I've got me down trousers on and me down boots. So that's me all nice and cosy and I'm just going to sit here and chill. It's nice and dry, I'm warm, so I don't need to get in the bivvy just yet. But uh, I'm loving this camp. I've got my hat on that the daughter bought me last year, look. It's amazing, isn't it? Save you getting out for a torch, look. <laughs> got a couple of settings on it. You just press it for each setting. It's USB rechargeable. Like some uh, Doctor Who character in it. Look, put his foot on. Turn it off. Yeah, I'm just chilling, enjoying this. Oh, anyway, just lie back. Obviously. Obviously. I've got a brew. I've always got a brew. Yeah, this is cracking, this is. Yeah, I haven't got an electric bike myself, so uh, the wife suggested if, you, if I'm struggling on the hills with a load and that, why don't I try her bike? So I have. I'm going to get a couple of panniers for the back if I can get some cheap enough. But my idea for the morning... As I told you earlier, I've lost the top of my tripod thing with the rattling and what have you. I'm going to put the rucksack upside down, the head of it on the rack, and then I'll, I'll use the waist strap around my chest sort of thing, and that'll save me having to strap it to the rack, because the rack's not big enough really for a rucksack. But we'll have a look at that in the morning. I'm meant to be doing some two-day camps, because it, in the, before the summer starts, after Christmas probably March, April, I'm going to have uh, six or seven days doing part of a hard path trail in Scotland. So I need to be getting some two-night camps in to, to test me stuff. The difficulty is I've got the daughter through the week because she's at home. The wife has Wednesdays and Thursdays off. Now it's getting dark. I could set off on a Tuesday. If she can get in early enough, I could set off, get somewhere, and I could camp for two nights, the Tuesday and the Wednesday. Or if she can come home from work early enough on the Friday, I can set off early and then camp the Friday and the Saturday. But it's difficult now it's getting dark because she had problems at work on Friday and couldn't get back. Early. That's why I'm camping Saturday. It is what it is. If need be, I'll do a couple of two-day camps over the Christmas holiday or something. I just didn't really fancy doing it with the long, long nights because it's so miserable. I might leave the two-day camps until the spring. Who knows? There's very few midges about tonight, so I haven't had to put the uh, the net on. There's a, there's a few. I've got a couple of bites on my hand. My face... I've had a couple of nips, but no, nothing major. 
Oh, it's just, and that's just on the low setting. Oh, hang on. There's the high setting. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, it's lovely. You can really feel the hot spots. The arms take a bit longer because they're not they're not really hard in contact with you. Oh, it's nice though. Amazing. It's a great jacket. I'll get a I'll get a link for the description. It's getting dark now, isn't it? I might find the top of that tripod in the morning if nobody's been about. I'll uh, I'll go back the way I came, do a couple of the tracks. I've got a, I've got nearly half a battery left. Worst case scenario, I'll be pedalling home without the battery. All right, I'm gonna have me brew. Well, I've had to put me light. I've chopped my light up on to, on, on the tree. You have to excuse some of the filming and the. And not the camera angles and that, because uh, obviously I've got no tripod to put my phone on or anything. But uh, I've got this on the low setting. I'm just having my final brew now, and I'll be getting my head down. Really enjoyed this camp. Chilled out. It's pitch, pitch black. So black tonight. But uh, I still love a tarp and be like, as soon as that bit of daylight starts in the morning, you open your eyes and the views are there. Well, as I know there's not many views here, but I've got all the greenery to look at. I just love a tarp and bivvy. I'm going to use it as long as I can through the winter. I've got so much hot gear, down trousers. I've got a easy jacket now. I'll probably be using the setup I'm going to use in Scotland next year. I'm going to be using the 3x3 tarp set out in a star configuration i'll start using that so much room underneath it and you can put sides of it to the floor so it's almost as good as a tent with more space so i'll be using that right thanks for watching so far and uh, we'll see you in the morning see what fun we can have get back without the rucksack tangling off and falling off and everything yeah dear. i'll be on the amazon tomorrow trying to try and find some panniers Hmm, it's in the morning. Good morning. 20 past six. I can see a little bit, but obviously under the tarp it's, it's dark. I've just woke up. It's quite chilly, so I've sat up. I've put this jacket back on. Look. I've, <laughs> I've turned it up to full. Absolutely toasting. And I'm going to have my breakfast now. I think I brought my stuff out. I can't really show you anything because I ain't got no light. Look. Can you see? Yeah. I've got the stuff right by the uh, sleeping bag, so I'm just going to have my breakfast where I lie rather than go over there because it is cold. So I'll see you in a bit. Why do we always talk so quiet in the mornings when there's nobody here? There's only me in the forest. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit. A nice bowl of porridge followed by a brew. I've got to say this heated coat has been a game changer. It's so warm. I got out the sleeping bag this morning and I put it on. It was amazing. Really enjoyed it. Well, it's daylight now, all packed up. Leave no trace as always. Leave no trace as always. I've got that on the bike rack. The front's full. My rucksack's on my back at the minute till I get down to the road. And then I'm going to configure it upside down. And we'll try and show right, you. I'll show you this rucksack. I don't know whether you can see it, but it's on the pannier. So it's upside down. I'm going to try it like that until I get some panniers. What a beautiful, calm morning. The lock is completely still. It's so quiet. I'm coming out of the forest a different way this morning and there's so much harvesting going on. Some lovely uh, low bits as well, isn't there, to camp? 
And it's the same inside again, just coming around in a big circle. Sun's trying to come out. I won't do many shots coming back. I'll just have a quick look at the scenery. There he's looking up towards the, the trig point and that. It's a lovely morning. Right, I'm nearly out the forest now, nearly back on the road. I don't think I'm going to have enough battery to get home. So, worst case scenario, I'll phone the wife up and she can uh, come up in the car and get me. Because the gearing on this bike, it's just not suitable for, for hills and that. But uh, I've enjoyed myself. It's been a great camp. <coughs> we hear voices hoarse this morning. It's coming down the hills in the, in the fog and the mist. Really enjoyed it. It's been a great camp. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave a comment. See you in the next one.